hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in today's video we will solve a problem numerical problem which is based on the bending and shear stresses in the beams <coughs> so let's read out the question a timber beam carries a udl of 15 kN per meter including self weight over its entire span of 4 meter if the permissible shear stress for the timber are 12 megapascal in compression and 10 megapascal in, megapascal in tension and 0.8 megapascal uh, pascal in shear, design a suitable rectangular beam. Take the width of rectangular beam as one third of this depth. So it is not given if this beam is simply supported beam or cantilever beam. So let's assume that it is simply supported beam. This is beam. This is roller support, this is hinge support, and there is a UDL including self weight. This is 15 kilo Newton per meter. Okay, and another thing over this, uh, this length is 4 meter. If the permissible, uh, permissible stresses for timber are in compression sigma c is 12 to the power 6 pascal newton per meter square and uh, sigma tension is 10 mega pascal or pascal or newton per newton per meter square and tau is 0.8 into 10 to the power 6 newton per meter square design a suitable rectangular beam so suppose this is cross section of the beam then given the width of the rectangular beam as one third of the depth so this is b this is d so if b is the width then we have seen that width of the rectangular beam one third of the depth so suppose this is 3b then it is one third of the 3b so width will be b and depth will be 3b so, uh, moment of energy of this will be Vd cube by 12, which will be equal to B into 3B cube by 12, which will be equal to B into 27 into D cube by 12. So, it will be 9 by 4 Vd cube. So, this is moment of energy of this cross section. Now we have to find maximum shear force and maximum bending stress in the beam because we have to calculate uh, if we have to apply this formula m up, up, i is equal to sigma upon y then here we have to find maximum bending moment across this section. So let's draw the bending moment diagram and shear force diagram of this beam. So suppose this is R2 this is r1 and this is mid span this is point c and this is 2 meter because this is 4 meter total so it will be 2 meter here and 2 meter there mid span so you can see that from symmetry r1 and r2 will be equal from symmetry you can see that this reaction and this reaction will be equal because this load is symmetrical so what will be the value of this r1 and r2 R1 will be equal to this total load is 15,000 Newton into total length is equal to 4. So total W will be 15,000 into 4 which is equal to 60,000 Newton. So what will be R1 and R2 is equal to divided by 2 is equal to 30,000 Newton. So this is, sorry, this is 30,000 and this is also 30,000. So what will be shear force diagram? So shear force at this point is minus 30,000 30, and uh, we suppose this is section x x at x distance. So what will be shear force at this section x? So shear force at section x will be this is 30,000. So this is 30,000 minus wx 
w is load per unit length and x is length so if we have to calculate uh, cr force at mid span then x will be 2 so it will become 30000 cr force at c will become 30000 minus w is 15000 into length is 2 so it will become 0 cr force at this point is 0 and this is the question of line so cr force will vary according to a line and shear force at this point is plus 30,000 so we can see that shear force distribution will be like this and maximum shear force will be 30,000 Newton now if we have to calculate bending moment then what will be the bending moment diagram see at this point bending moment will be R2 into Suppose this is A, this is B, then bending moment at point B will be R2 into 0. So it will become 0 because R2 into x, so x is 0, so it will become 0. So if we have to calculate at this point, at section xx, distance x from this point, then what will be the bending moment? Then bending moment at x will be R2, which is 30,000 into x minus this low 15,000 into uh, this length is x into distance of centroid of this load from this section is x by 2 so it will become 30,000 x minus 7,500 x square so this is formula for the bending moment so bending moment at point C will be maximum because shear force is 0 at this point so at this point bending moment will be maximum so x will become 2 so bending moment at C will be 30,000 into 2 minus 7500 into 2 square so it will become 60,000 minus 7500 into 4 so it will become 30,000 Newton meter you can directly calculate by this formula also WL square by 8 so W is given is equal to 15,000 into L is given as 4 square by 8 so it will become 15,000 into 16 divided by 8 is equal to 30,000 but for better understanding how this formula can you can calculate like this so we have maximum bending is uh, bending moment 30,000 newton meter bending moment maximum is 30,000 newton meter shear force maximum is shear force maximum is 30,000 newton and I of the beam is I we have already calculated 9 by 4 BD cube or 4.5 BD cube or 9 by 9 by 2 9 by 4 sorry 9 by 4 BD cube now if we apply the C if we have to find the shear stress across this cross section then for rectangular cross section average shear stress will be tau average will be shear force divided by area so shear force maximum shear force is 30,000 30,000 so 30,000 divided by area is B into 3B B into 3B so it is 10,000 divided by B square this is tau average now what will be maximum shear stress for rectangular section uh, maximum shear stress will be 3 into 3 by 2 into tau average so it will become 10,000 into 3 by 2 b square which will, which will be equal to 15,000 divided by b square now maximum shear stress is given as 0.8 megapascal so this will be equal to 0 
into 10 to the power 6 so b square will be equal to 15,000 divided by 0.8 into 10 to the power 6 so this will become 15,000 into 10 so 15,000 divided by 8 into 10 to the power 5 so if you will calculate then it will become what? so it will become 0 0.01875 is equal to b square so if you will calculate b then you will get b is equal to 0 0.13 7 meter so d will be equal to depth of the beam will be 3 into b so it will be 3 into 0.137 is equal to 0.411 meter so b is 0.137 meter and D is 0.411 meter now this is as per the CR stress criteria if we will calculate from bending stress criteria then we will find another set of B and D now you can see that this is cross section so CR stress will uh, bending stress will vary like this so maximum value in compression sigma c and this is sigma tension so set sigma t and sigma c will be equal because this beam section is symmetrical across neutral axis so we will consider the 10 mega pascal because beam will fail uh, with compress uh, tension before failing with compression now if we consider for the uh, bending stressor then you can see that bending stress is maximum bending stress is compression is 12 mega pascal and each tension is 10 mega pascal but you can see that this beam is symmetrical this is square section rectangle section so for rectangular section neutral axis will be in between so shear stress or bend, sorry bending stress distribution will be like this so sigma t in tension and this is sigma compression so these two values will be equal so i want to say that beam will fail with a tensile stress before failing with compressive stress because compressive stress is more so 10 mega pascal we can maximum go for a bending stress so we will consider m upon i is equal to sigma upon y here sigma will be 10 mega pascal so m M we have calculated already maximum uh, maximum bending stress we have calculated which is we have calculated maximum bending moment which was which was thirty thousand at mid span so this was thirty thousand newton meter and here it was zero and here it was zero so m upon i is equal to sigma upon y so thirty thousand divided by i is See, I we have calculated 9 by 4 BDQ. So while calculating uh, I we have committed a little mistake. This is BDQ by 12. So this is B into 3B Q divided by 12. So this is not D. This is B. So this is B. So it is 9 by 4. B to the power 4. So this is I. Okay. now we see that maximum bending moment is 30,000 newton meter and uh, maximum uh, bending stress is given 10 mega pascal so 10 into 10 to the power 6 y is this depth by 2 so 3b by 2 because this is b this is 3b so this is 3b by 2 3 by 2 so m upon i is equal to sigma upon y so m is 30,000 
अपन आई इज नाइन बाई फोर बी टू पावर फोर नाइन बाई फोर बी टू दावर फोर इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा इज टेन इंटू टेन टू दावर सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वाई इज थ्री बी बाई टू सो फ्रॉम हियर वी विल सी दैट दिस वन बी विल बी कैंसल्ड सो इट विल बिकम बी टू दावर क्यू इज इक्वल टू थर्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई इंटू फोर बाई नाइन दिस विल बिकम इंटू टेन इंटू टेन टू दावर सिक्स इंटू टू थ्री सो इट विल बिकम थ्री सो इट विल बिकम टू जीरो 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 डिवाइडेड बाई टेन टू दावर सेवन सो इट इज टू इंटू टेन टू दावर फोर माइनस सेवन सो इट इज टू इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस थ्री दिस इज इक्वल टू बी क्यू सो बी विल बी क्यू ब्रूट पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो टू सो वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बी वी विल गेट बी इज इक्वल टू बी विल बी पॉइंट वन टू सिक्स मीटर सो टी विल बी थ्री बी विच इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन टू सिक्स इंटू थ्री विच इज पॉइंट थ्री सेवन एट मीटर so we can see that we have found two values of b and d from shear uh, from bending stress criteria b is equal to 0.126 and d is 0.378 meter and from shear stress criteria we have found value of b and d which is which is equal to point b is 0.137 and d is 0.411 meter so we we can see that if you want to uh, we, we want to save load a safe beam we want to design safe beam then we have to choose the larger dimension so that our beam will be stronger so this is the current correct answer so b will be 0.137 meter and d is 0.411 meter so i hope you understand this question and i hope you liked it sorry for this small mistake and if you liked it then please subscribe thanks for watching our video